Okay. And so what we see here then are the thermodynamic parameters for the catalyzed peptide bond formation shown in this free energy diagram here and uncatalyzed peptide bond formation shown in this um, free energy diagram shown here where these are the transition states, right? And so from here to here then uh, is the, are, the, are the thermodynamic parameters from going to the ground state to the transition state for the catalyzed, the ribosome catalyzed reaction and here are the free energy, are the, uh, the thermodynamic parameters for going from the ground state to the transition state in the uncatalyzed reaction. And let's just look at delta H and T delta S. What hap how, do, how do delta H and how do delta H of activation uh, compare for the uh, uncatalyzed and catalyzed reaction? Is the, in particular, is the catalyst, the ribosome, reducing the enthalpy of activation? Well, it's not. It's, it's changing it very little. To the extent that it's changing it at all, it's actually slightly increasing the enthalpy of activation. So that's the opposite of what you expect a chemical cat catalyst to do, right? What it's doing instead is actually to greatly increase the entropy of activation, okay? And so that's how you get this big reduction in the free energy of activation. Remember, if you increase the entropy of activation, since there's that negative sign in the equation, delta G equals delta H minus T delta S in front of the delta S term, that reduces the free energy of activation. Okay, and so the ribosome seems to be accelerating the reaction by, not by reducing the enthalpy of activation, but by increasing the entropy of activation. Okay, and this is very unusual. This is unprecedented. There are no enzymes that work this way as far as we know. This says this is different from most enzymes. I can't find any enzymes which are thought to function in this way. Okay. But remember that the ribosome is a ribozyme, not an enzyme. Okay. So this just shows that most, probably all enzymes, decrease the activation enthalpy. Okay. So here are Arrhenius, here are, here's a, you know, sort of a hypothetical Arrhenius plot, what you'd expect to see uh, for the uncatalyzed reaction and the catalyzed reaction for an enzyme catalyzed reaction, you don't expect those Arrhenius plots to be parallel to one another. You expect them to converge at high temperatures because you expect the enthalpy of activation for the catalyzed reaction to be much less than the enthalpy of activation for the uncatalyzed reaction, which should therefore have a steeper slope. And in fact, that's what you consistently observe, right? So for a variety of enzymes, the enthalpy of activation for the catalyzed reaction is much less than the enthalpy of activation for the non-catalyzed or uncatalyzed reaction. Okay. Okay, so in contrast, the ribosome, a ribosyme, has little effect on activation enthalpy and achieves catalysis by significantly increasing the activation entropy, right? Okay, so the, the, just to remind you once again, the reason we believe that it's not having any effect on the activation enthalpy is because, unlike in the example shown on the previous slide, the Arrhenius plots for the uh, uncatalyzed and catalyzed reactions are parallel to one another. 